But yo, embrace the way podcast, bro. Bam. We are back. Episode Boom. 70. Ooh, no, bro. Ooh, 71. 71, I believe. I believe it's 71. Yo, we got a lot of episodes, yeah, bro. Yeah, we getting up there, bro. Yeah, man. Almost um, at 900, actually. Almost. And it's a long time since we started, too, bro. I'm yeah. thinking, like, four. Yo, low-key, though, three. we got to hit our stride. Yeah. We about to hit our nah, stride. We, 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 we was kind of, but not only vacation, yeah, yeah, vacation. We was, exactly, but okay. We, we, we back, We about man. to hit we our back. stride right now, though. We back, bro. Yo, I'm going to start. Um, I'm doing a little... Uh, book club series on, on my oh, YouTube bad. channel. Like, I'm gonna do like a five, seven minute. So it's like, I'm gonna read a book and then do like a seven, five, minute. seven minutes. No, I'm gonna read the book and then do like oh, okay. a seven minute video type <laughs> shit, right? Like, like, <laughs> like yeah, nah, look at really reading. You ever see, you ever see the African dude? He's like, oh yeah. So he's like, uh, uh, America's got talent, but the African version. And he said, I am the fastest reader. <laughs> and then he goes, <laughs> he said, like, what was in the book? <laughs> what did you read in the book? You're going to be the LeBron, how Brown be on the first page. <laughs> Bro, what you, what you thought of Malcolm X and like how he left? Say, like, you know, he was a great man. <laughs> yeah. You know, he did what he had to do. Nah, he was cool, man. But yeah, so like, I, that's a cool little series. I'm like, hey, you know what? That's what's up. I've been hitting my content stride. Like, yeah, I got music visualizers. Okay. I filmed a music video for my brother. Okay. Um, and I got a he project. Put out, he put out music? I, I put out music, but I have him, like, we did, like, a cool little, I don't know if I can show you. Oh, yeah, you know, I can, yeah. Because, like, I got connections. We did, like, a cool little um thing. After church, I was like, yo, we tough. I'm going to drop in two weeks. But, like, the angle. Oh, that's so, like, neat. I like it. Bro, I ain't gonna lie to you. It's like you and then the younger version of you. Bro. Yeah, that's why I'm like, we gotta have this thing in the video because like niggas look alike. Only this nigga's like three inches taller now. <laughs> the younger version of you. <laughs> but it, I feel like it's hard, like just like because it's minimalistic. Yeah, like, it's just one shot. Boom, bro. Yeah, and then it cuts to and then it cuts to this type. That's he. That's fire. Mad short, but. Yeah, I'm. I feel like I'm hitting that content stride where I'm I like, see. yo, I, I made the beats, I rapped on them beats, I got a, a feature on it, mixed and mastered it, got a music video coming out, and then the project coming out in two weeks, yeah. and then like we got the the short film, oh, I still gotta yeah. upload that, and then all I'm like, yo, thank God, oh, like I just yeah. feel, I feel, and I check my my thing, and I got twenty nine dollars of earnings. <laughs> I'm like, hey, okay, you know what, something, bro? Something, bro. I, I'm getting something back. I ain't gonna lie to you, something, something. I'm getting return, bro. some return on investment. Like, some hey, some though. You know that shit is negative point two percent on my investment. Hey, that shit's that's still something, bro. Some. You that's, go, you start somewhere, bro. <laughs> you gotta start somewhere, bro. I'm, I'm like, yo, that's that's cool. That's like, cool. It's not nothing crazy, but it's like, hey, that's fire. That's that's, that's me. stupid fire. I put in work and I got something yeah, back. Like, hey, thirty dollars. Hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna give me some gas. That's stupid <laughs> fire. Next, I ain't gonna lie to you. Yeah. Hey, bro. To my next shoot. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna shoot on the on the parlay, bro. They can say. <laughs> I'm starting the parlay. I'm playing the Powerball with that. <laughs> I'm, I'm throwing it all. Yeah, throwing that whole shit in the Powerball. No, I'm throwing it all, video, bro. bro. I seen the funniest thing with Cameron. He said his boy was like stressed. About he messed up his parlay and he's like, How much you put on? And the nigga said five dollars. And he would have won like, like one fifty and it's like, yo, this nigga was like that back. though, bro. You don't even know nigga. Nigga was sulky, like, nah. Be like that, <laughs> that was my last spot though. I had to stop betting, bro. That's crazy. Like, you see those you see them games like real intense, you be sad, you go to sleep all mad and shit, you make yeah. no bread. I mean I'm a cheap dude, bro. I really can't do I can't do the band. I can't do the gambling. I'm cheap. That's I true. can't. I'm not in a position to be just, cause just throwing money like that. I feel like if it's like a five ten, yeah. cause I never I never gambled before, but I feel like it'll be like a little fun thing. I feel like some niggas really be like, nah, nah bro. I'll be putting new, like they put guy. mad money into nah, that. Bro. Like when you look back, like damn, I done put like. I know people days. that be gambling. Nah, you know you got a problem. You gambling right here. If you doing <laughs> yeah. the online motherfucking yeah. Jack yeah. Bla- blackjack shit, not so you, crazy. Yeah, you over, you lost. I would never do that because I don't know how to be doing that. But I the feel part like they like, be scamming niggas on that. But definitely, I feel like all of it it's it's geared towards you just losing your money. Yeah, you gonna right? lose that. Because even if you win, you in the mindset of I right, I'm gonna put that shit back, right in back in the more, and then you lose it. Nah, right? nah, bro. I remember so. I went to um we went to AC it was uh with JP. Yeah. Wes, Zay, all that. But the boy. Yeah. He was at the boy. He was like, ah, let's go gamble. 
Niggas all went in. I, I remember I was like, I'm not even about to spend my bread like that. But yeah. started with 20. And I just started on the, what's that? What's the uh, roulette? I was uh, on roulette. Okay. And, I, you know, I was just getting, I was hitting. I was yeah. hitting. I was like, oh, shit, beginner's luck. It's the beginner's luck shit, bro. I came up like $100, bro. Yeah. Right? And then, you know, I started losing a little bit. I was like, all right, let me, you know, let me just, I started putting a little bigger bets. Got like to 150, start losing again. Yeah. And I started, I lost like 50 cash. I was like, all right. <laughs> I'm going to take my 100 beans and I'm well, out of here, bro. You did, you did good then because some niggas is like, niggas yo, my bro, nothing. But yeah. I understand, like, I can understand how niggas like, all oh, right, okay. I'm yeah. about to go all out. Yeah. Like, niggas going with 200 and bet on one thing. And See, I don't even got. I don't got money like that. Yo, two hundred. Like even though that's it too seem, crazy, that's bro. a lot of money just to be like too crazy. But if you if you at least spend two hundred on shoes, like ah, oh, you got shoes. Two hundred on like something dumb. That shit gone. But like bro. damn, two hundred and there's just nothing. It's gone. There's bro. no fun. Like it's just like that little rush. Like, it's not <laughs> that fun, is bro. not, that shit not right. fun, bro. You go home like, and you like, then you don't sleep all night because then you're like, damn, I'm really broke right now. That's that's crazy. But I mean, I guess it. I I would do the parties maybe at some point. Do like a little five ten, like just something like, hey, but in five you win like what? Would you win like thirty? Yeah, 40? if you win though, you gotta hit. But you know what? People be having that to the science nowadays. Yeah, to a, yeah. Niggas low key be having like be putting in like, I know my cousin he got like he be uh he be buying like ten bets a day. Damn. I be like, damn. If though. you know the sport, like, cause like if you know ball, you know who yeah. good, who not, who not, and but it's a lot. Of, it's a lot. That's behind the scenes. Like some nigga may be injured or some nigga just high that day, and nigga just you know just not it's too much, not man. feeling it. And now you kind of whatever, right? It's too much. Yeah, it's too much. It's too much. Oh, dude. Fuck that shit though. The game. Fuck that. Yeah, fuck that shit, bro. I'm too cheap for that. It's too. It's just not, yeah, yeah. I don't. I don't got the fun. I don't got the fun on facilitations for all that though. But yeah, fuck that shit though. But <laughs> life been high though. Life been high though lately. Yeah. Calm. Life, yeah, he been on. I mean, Four vacations? Nah, he nah, nah, That's why nah, we took nah. the break, just because niggas were on vacation. Yeah, we, took, we were on vacation. Yeah. My son was glamping. Glamping, glamping, yo. <laughs> Black <laughs> people don't camp, bro. Black people do not camp, bro. bro. I'll tell you that right now. Niggas don't, right? And we wasn't even doing the real camping. It was the glamorous or glamorous. And we still, niggas are glamorous. We gl- like, <laughs> that shit I, it was, was brick. I remember man. waking up when the day when we could actually do the fire, right? We came back like eight. We had a fire going from eight to twelve. Eight to twelve, but then it's like that shit was running out. Niggas, they want to do the fire though. It's crazy because it's warm. We like, yo, we could take off like jackets, hoodies. Like it feels like. But it's the fire inside the room. It's inside. It's inside. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And then the smoke leaves, but the actual heat comes and it it be heating up. The thing is, once the fire stops, it gets cold within like 30, 40 minutes. So a four four hours of us doing the fire. You know what After y'all 12, need, right? Break. Y'all needed the um. I seen this where y'all need the. It's like a portable heater, but yeah. you put gas tanks in it. Okay, yeah, and yeah. And then that that you connect it into the plug, and then that give you heat. Like it's a portable but heater. I don't know how big their electric source was. If it could have over. I know, like if it's one twenty or some shit like that. But either but way, but it's just because this is only just to turn it on because you're using gas. Nah, we're using wood. It's no, no, I'm talking oh, about like if you had gas. that because yeah. that. With a, you gotta maintain you it. Gotta main, you gotta buy the wood. Like, yeah. you had to buy the you wood. You bought wood. We for had that. to buy the wood, yeah. Like, the, the actual wood. I mean, we wasn't cutting the, the wood down and shit, but. Yeah, I bought logs. We had to, yeah, we had to buy a log How of much wood. was a log? It was like $8. For like a pack. A pack, yeah. But in hindsight, that only lasts like three or something hours. Because we was only in the yurt for the nights Friday night and Saturday night. Throughout the day, we wasn't there, basically, so it didn't really matter. But if he was there the whole time... So the first night you didn't have it, and then the second night you did. We did, but when you had it for like three up. hours, yeah. right? And we, we was there for like it's 12 cool hours. It's cool making a fire though, right? It's cool, mad cool. I have it on, on a video. Mad cool. And it's like the vibes. And then we we had the little electric stove, and we did like the canned noodles and all that. And it, <laughs> it was mad, mad cool. Like, but, That's cute. <laughs> yeah, bro, that is <laughs> mad work, bro. That's mad work, though. Mad work. We woke up. It's brick, and it's like nah. you can't feel nothing tight like brick. Like they're just walking like, <laughs> like little penguins. And Let shit. me tell you a story. My I know my mom was gangster. Yeah. We went to the Pocono. This was like last year, two years ago. Yeah, we went to the Pocono, and it's like um, it was a bunch of their uh, my pops and their friends. Yeah, and his friend and family, and but it was just me, my brother, and two of my other cousins. Yeah, so we bored as fuck though, and we were outside. We we're like, fuck it, <clears> let's let's you know. They had like a fireplace, so 
We spent like it was like probably it was dark. It was like nine, ten. We was like, fuck, let's try to make a fire. <laughs> and bro, that shit was the hardest thing. But like we couldn't, we just couldn't get the bro. fire going. You can't get it's hard. You if know you, you don't gotta, know how, bro. Bro, the first night we tried to make a fire for an hour, and it's like when you don't know, like we had the big you wood, just, we're trying to light the big wood, like why is it not going? You try to get the you paper, need gas, and but then, the then nah, you need the little wood, then you need the paper, and you have yeah, to you do gotta it. Start. But if you don't know, you just there, just bro. doing shit, bro. You don't even know. My mom hopped in and she said, "What y'all doing?" <laughs> said, oh, we trying to start fire. Oh, word, that's that's how you make no fucking fire. <laughs> she hopped in there through the stick, put everything together. <laughs> yeah. Shorty hit it with the just like. Cause we had the the thing, the mat, the lighter, the matches. Yeah, right? we had matches. Yeah, we had a match. But we ran through our matches because quick, cause like, you know you don't know. She wasn't light. So she bro. put the little sticks, the match, the little fire thing, like the uh, the tape paper. Yeah. Threw it in there, and then she just started playing too. <laughs> yeah. And I don't know where that shit was big that as fuck. Shit, and yeah. I was like, bro. And that should be scary when it starts literally going on fire. You're like, damn. It's hot. It's hot. And that shit, like, when you open the gate to build more wood, and that should be scary because you'd be like, damn, I hope this shit no, don't bro. start leaking out. And, like, that's like, you really, take us all it out. really take you back to when human really first saw fire. Yeah. You really Crazy. go into, like, when you first see fire, you're like, oh shit. Yeah. This is hot. Like, like if this shit everything is... goes through you. For me, I don't know. I'm like a, like a, you know, like, everything goes through my, this shit is hot. Like, what if I touch it? You yeah. know, like, like, like it goes out. Like if it comes out, if it's this like damn it's clips. It's cool. Like, it's bright. It's like it's a my cool. ancestors was in, was in the um the hot in the heat. I'm like yo, I'd rather be in Nigeria where if it's hot, you could just like take off your clothes. Yeah, for than real. being in the when it's cold and you got to bundle up. Sure. And even if you bundle up, you're still cold. Like it's you still cannot. Cold. I'd rather be in the hot in the sure. heat. Like yeah, in blazing sure. heat than blazing. I feel earth. you, bro. One hundred percent. I yeah, tell niggas that I was at. I'm warm blooded, bro. Yeah, I'd rather. Fuck the cold, bro. Yeah, like nah. Fuck that shit. Cause you can take your clothes off and plug in the fan. You cool, but like for this, nah, fam. Like that shit is hell. And like God bless the homeless niggas or, or niggas who don't Swear got heat. To God. Like nah, bro. Like. And we was lucky we had the hot water to take a shower. Yeah, yeah, we I we had the car. We could, but like, nah, bro. I don't nah, know how niggas do it, bro. Niggas, bro. I don't I'm know a, how Like, just it. disclaimer, bro. If camp is for you, camp is for you. Yeah. But for us niggas, bro, I don't know. I'm a little too nah, civilized. Yeah. I don't know. Like, I, I got my, I need my shits around me. Like, so when I went to Guatemala, we walked up the volcano. We did a walk up a volcano. Yeah. Which is. That seems dope. I it's think I've seen it on one of your stories, right? That's fire, like, bro. I got con- good content, bro. Yeah. But it's fire at the top. <laughs> but walking is it's not. It's fire at the bottom. Yeah. But that in between, bro. So is the in between hot, cold? In between is everything. Oh, just say yeah, it's, just it's like everything. everything because so it's it's like um it's six hours of walking up Damn. a hill. Six motherfucking hours. And so you start at the bottom. That's the whole and at day. The begin- it's a day. Damn, I didn't know the niggas. It's a day, bro. That's crazy. It was a day. It was a day, bro. That's crazy. A day of pain. I'm thinking it's just like niggas just walk nah, up for 20 bro. minutes and niggas at the top. Nah, bro. Nah. That's nah. Niggas. I'm thinking it's like bro. That. Nah, bro. That's crazy. Nah, bro. We start at the bottom at 12. We got to the uh, at the bottom of the, uh, the volcano at 12, right? So you start walking. The first, it's like you do like four, 30 to 45 minutes of walking and then there's a <laughs> checkpoint. 35, 40 minutes walking, checkpoint. So there's uh like five checkpoints. Yeah. Right? So they give you in your in your book bag, right? You got you have to have a change of clothes. Yeah. They yeah. tell you you have to have sweaters. They give you a they give you a coat. They give you a heavy coat. They give you uh gloves and a hat for the nighttime. They give you food, like lunch and dinner, yeah. and four liters of water. In your backpack, in that backpack. That's scary, nigga. I mean, it's just like, yo, if some shit go down, the niggas need to like. This is not. Hike. This is not a kid. This is not like a hike. <laughs> this is not a hike in T-neck, bro. This yeah. is not a kid. Oh, you got railings. Yeah. Oh, you got. This is a mountain, nigga. Like, niggas this gotta, is like. Niggas, this is like. This might be your last. Back in the eighteen, waters. bro. What? This is like <laughs> back in the eighteen fifties when they was like they they were discovering the world. Yeah. You like, know, like you yeah. just oh shit, let me walk up this shit just to see what's up there. Yeah. Bro. When I tell you the first of the, it's like it changed through all type of biomes. First it was like um straight dirt, like a desert. Yeah. Then we went up another one, then it's like farmland. Then it's jungle and then it's like rocky mount like the top of a mountain. Yeah. So you got like mad weight on the back. First of all, I'm walking, right? And <laughs> it's like you start as a group. 
But it's like you're it's like you're walking on sand too some points. So like you're <clears> it's straight incline. You're walking, like walking, bro. And the first we get to the first spot and the first checkpoint and it's not even the entrance of the mountain. Yeah. And it's like you're dying. You're dying. <laughs> you're dying already. I'm dying. I'm like I'm thinking about like the first the first 10 minutes, like, damn, do I really want to fucking do this, bro? Yeah. Like, why the fuck am I doing this, bro? Right? Like, because honestly, like, I didn't even do no research. Yeah. My cousins booked everything on this trip. Yeah. And I was just like, yeah. So fuck that's it, how I'm going to do it, bro. Do no research. Fuck it, niggas I'm going to do it. Niggas potentially life-threatening situations. Like, hey, bro. That whole trip was ridiculous. <laughs> all right, so we walking up. First step, I'm like, all right, this is ridiculous. I go to the next spot. Then we see a sign that says, welcome to the mountain. So we even, we just got to the top of the entrance. Yeah. Two more things, bro. I'm gassed. Like it's lunchtime. I'm Niggas gassed, bro. <laughs> like mind you, I had a I had my um I had a green sweater on, right? You in the first and all that too. In like, the first you... half, I had my green down here and this shit. I had a green sweater first half. I had to take it off in the first one because already my whole back it was hot. The sun is twelve. It's one. Yeah. The sun is out. My whole shit cooked, right? Dur- yeah, drenched, right? Mind yeah. you, yeah, drenched. But the problem is, it's mad dirty. Yeah, it's dusty and, and this, there's insects and all that shit flying. Bro, this is this is the woods, bro. Yes. This is the woods. This is the woods, bro. I never I'm never doing that shit again, bro. <laughs> we like I took so I just had a I had a white beater on there. I was like fuck, I gotta go just the white beater, bro. Yeah. Start climbing. Once we get to the jungle, right? This is like one of the maybe the third stop. We start going up. We're walking through the cloud. So now it's getting cold again. So I'm walking, it's getting cold. Put my shit back on. I put my shit back on. But my shit already <laughs> drenched because I wrapped, wrap, I sweat through it. Yeah. Then I wrapped it when I was walking around my waist. So then all my sweat that was back here was on my audience. sweater. Yeah. So then I put it, I was like, fuck it though, I gotta put it on because it's cold now. Yeah. And it's but I'm hot, but I'm cold. So we walking up, then it's like it's a big ass mountain. So we walk, boom, 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 right? And I'm dying. I'm probably like in our group there was like Let's say last 15 people. Yeah. There's a group of... There's like seven, eight people in the back, seven in the front. I'm literally... Or seven in the back, seven in the front, and I'm the middle. Like, I'm the middle. Like, I'm the last person in the front. Okay, but first. For, but in first the in the back. Yeah. So, this group was so slow that we, we broke apart. So, then when, we, when I was the last person in the front group. So, what have started happening was, which I started getting tight was, every they would stop, right? Like, the front group would get to the like a checkpoint. They'll stop, take a break. But every time I got to the checkpoint, <laughs> niggas, niggas like, all right, let's go. <laughs> I'm like, no, there's no way. I told dude, I told dude, because there's a they got guides. Yeah. And he was like, yeah, bro, let's go. Like, you know, I was like, nah. <laughs> like, I just got I here. just got here, bro. Like, I just got here. I'm thirsty. I'm like upset, bro. I'm upset. And he was like, now nah, we gotta go. I was like, nah, bro. You go, you gotta stay with me. Like, yeah. like you can go ahead if you want to, like, but it's on you. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? He's like, all right, so we stayed there. Like, so at least 15, 20 minutes, because I got to get my legs under me, bro. When I'm yeah. telling you, you got two sticks, too. You got two sticks. So, I'm just like... You're like Moses. I'm, here, bro. bro, like, yeah. Moses. Yeah, trekking, bro. Trekking, bro. <laughs> but when you get to the top, it's beautiful. Like, you get to the top, you're like, oh, my God, it's great. How long are you at the top? You at the top? Overnight. Okay, overnight. You, so, you then, camp. Oh, you camping. Oh, we shit. camp. Oh, so, shit. it was like, it was like, the it was cool. It was, uh, it was... Cool in the sense of the setup was cool because you at the top of a mountain, yeah, and you see like you gonna see sunrise and you see the volcanoes and Literally. you see like I didn't know you was. Ca- I thought you was just walking up and you walked down. Nah, I was like, damn, that no, was bro. only up there. Nah, bro, but I was there cool, overnight. Though. So and the volcano, the volcano next to us was an active volcano. So it oh, nah. it really like throws every like forty oh, minutes. So are you warm? No. Oh, I'm thinking the heat from the volcano nah. is keeping the niggas warm. Nah, bro. If it yeah. was that close, if I slept that close, oh, yeah, that I'd close would be kind of crazy, bro. Something. I'd be cooked. I'd be cooked. Yeah. Nah, I'd be cooked, bro. I wouldn't be, be here right crazy. now. This nigga would have been cooked what, alive, bro. bro. <laughs> I'm thinking oh, like, oh, toasty. Some le- <laughs> some I'm gonna bring some here. home, bro. I should have brought some home too, right? Some I'm thinking some leftover heat gonna nah, come from bro. Just, break. just a bunch of smoke. Damn. Nah, so. You get up there and it's cool because you know you see all that shit. But when you're up there, bro, you have to put on the head. You gotta have a. I had my sweater on. Yeah. I had the coat on, hat, gloves. I had two pairs of socks on, and I had my long johns and long pants on. <laughs> That's how we were sleeping in that first. Crazy. Like, it's cold though. <laughs> yeah, it's brick. It's yeah. cold in a sleeping bag. Yeah. That's a crazy because you was really because we at least 
It was on a bed, but you was like really on the ground. On the ground, yeah. On the ground, bro. It was like a shack. No, bro, nothing. nothing. It was a shack. (laughs) It was a shack, right? And in each shack, it was like maybe five shacks, right? Yeah. And in each shack. Held like uh, six sleeping bags. Yeah. So you supposed Niggas to share. Talking, so no, no, you cool with the people because you share in the room, you know, yeah. like. But that, like, you know, you meet the people. You've been walking this whole six hours with these people. Yeah. So you made friends. You made, yeah. You make friends, bro, because like, just like it's like one of those like teen things where it's like you push, you yeah, encourage like, everybody oh, you to keep it, going. It. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Because there's times where you want to be like, like all right, I'm yeah. turning around. I'm gonna jump off. The, I'm gonna roll this. <laughs> shit. I'm roll back down, bro. Yeah. I'm gonna roll this shit down. No, for real. But so like, it's like we was. It was like six of us in one <laughs> thing. Each one got a sleeping bag, um, and you're in that in that thing. You see the volcano or anything, but you're sleeping on the ground, bro, for the night. Then you wake up in the morning at four thirty. Then you finish walking the mountain to the top to see the sunrise. Yeah. Which is another two like like hour cool and a ass, half. That's a cool ass experience seeing the sunrise on the volcano. Fire. It's crazy. It's very gratifying at the top. You'll be on the mountain. But that's walking, bro. You gotta come back down. So which is better to walk up or down? Down. Down is hard. I ran that shit. I went up in six hours and I came down in three. Oh, is it because it's downhill? It's not as much strength, right? Type or is not it just- as much strength, but also like I start sprinting. Adrenaline, nigga, just like adrenaline, and so like this. So it's cool when you're running down like a mountain because sometimes there's gravel and dirt. Damn. So like when you run, it's like dune runners, you know, like they was like so shit, yeah. Sh- like you run, but like it's like you drag and they like it's like when you slide on gra- on a turf. You like ever slid on turf? Slid on turf. Like you know, like you. I think I'm mean, yeah. Where it's like kind of like you, you're gliding. Yeah. You're kind of so I'm gliding with each step, and I'm and so I'm like low key, like where a bunch of us are just like. I'm trying to get down because I haven't taken a shower. I'm dirty. I smell. I'm trying to eat real food. Type I'm food. trying to eat real food. What our done? Our dinner was dead butter pasta, bro. <laughs> they just took pot butter in the pot, put some shit in it, some shit, like some water, yeah. vegetable, like, ve- like jalapenos or something, some small shit, <laughs> yeah. and then like seven bowls of pasta, and then he just <laughs> mixed it around, <laughs> and he said, then he started giving like everybody like a bowl of pasta. <laughs> Mind you, he gave me a little bit OD little at the beginning. I was like. No, it's crazy. Like, nah, fam. I've been walking. Like, <laughs> I'm like, I was just fed up, bro. I was like, <laughs> yeah. and then like, you know, just uh, I, I woke up that day. I was like, I told the niggas my thing. I don't think camping for me. Yeah, yeah. I don't nah. think this shit for me, bro. Sure, That's that wild shit. Like, glamping. So you gotta go glamping in the middle. Nah, it's like not nah, that camping glamping shit, bro. Not OD. Yeah, but you know, to be honest, it's cool. It's like romantic if you do it with the right things. And or if it's mad people and it's just like. I feel like us, it was just us two. So it was like, damn, we really got to do this. Like, yeah. it's not like where it's mad people. It's like teamwork. It's like, nah, like, damn, yeah, that is true. That's true. They, niggas, they set up the fire and everything like that. Type, so it was cool. Yeah, like, but, um, it's cool. It's like, don't get me wrong. I was just upset because of the walk. And then like, you know, like you got a certain, like luxury lifestyle. And shit. I'm dirty. I don't like to be dirty like that. Yeah. But, um, it's cool. Cause we really got, I got to meet people from like, from, um, Colombia, Costa Rica, people around the world, like yeah. from what's it called Belgium, all that. And That's you know, dope. you you sit, you spend, you're spending the night with them. You play games, you talk, you talk life and shit. It's cool, and it really makes you. Like, everyone's different. It's like yeah, different on a whole different. It really like yeah. reconstruction of mind sometimes, like yeah. about like what's really important, yeah. what's really like. What's good for you? Like, oh, actually, I wanted to talk to this about, like, what really serves you. Ah. Like, you know, like, what really is giving you happiness and joy. Yeah. And what are the things that kind of, like, just, like, bring you down or that you had to do? Like, sometimes there's this thing you got to do, like, work. You just got to do it to get bread, to yeah. do these other things, right? But you got to really, like, really dive into the things that serve you, right? Like, for yeah. you, it's, like... Video content, right? Yeah, it'd probably be like, like yeah, you know what I'm creative. saying? Creating, creating content, like, you know what I'm saying? Bro. That really like brings you out, and yeah. I was like, it's like really opened my eyes to like, yeah, man, like I like to travel, and I like to be out and doing different things, meeting new people. That, yeah. I feel like that's my my thing, and I was like, you know, like I don't know. I was really just thinking about like what really serves you and what how to figure that out. Like, what's What's you know kind of gay? No, I, I definitely see like. What's your thoughts that. on that? You feel me? Like, what's your thought on what what serves like? Yeah, the importance like of what serves you. And it's definitely important because even my brother was telling me because he like yo he's about to be like a, at a year anniversary of working, and it's like damn, I gotta get this job so I can pay off my car bill and pay all these student loans. But then if you 
finish paying all that off, the next thing you're trying to do is either get an apartment or get a house. So you're just trading some shit. You're just working just to pay off a huge ass debt or whatever, mm-hmm. right? So it's like something that's like, you only, yo, if a day passes, that day is gone. Mm-hmm. Each day we live, we are closer to death, which is right. kind of crazy to think about. So it's like, yo, you have to find something that serves you or something that you love doing because mm-hmm. that's that's what makes life precious, that mm-hmm. it's not it's not unlimited. You don't just have unlimited days. You're not invincible. You're not the main character. You right. can just die like that. Right. So it's like, you don't want to just die and it's like, <clears throat> looking at your life story play out and what did you really do? Right. You just worked. You just, like, was just on the phone the whole time, just doing shit. And it's like, yo, like, that's why even me, like, when I'm, I just started reading books again, I'm like, yeah, I feel like a kid again. Like, I could be in the world of whatever the author is giving me. Mm-hmm. When it's like, sometimes when you're on the phone, on YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, it's just like, yo, you in someone else. You're not in your own yeah, world. You're not like, in your own world. The day passes. What did you really do? Just, yeah. not me, what, what, what happened? So you need something that serves you, but That's right. I can't speak as to how you can find something that serves you. That's just you know you just gotta thought. do. You yeah. just gotta be able just to do anything, and then something's gonna stick. Like yeah. you be traveling and you do certain type of vacation, you're like, yeah, you know what? I like doing this, yeah, and I like, like when I did shoes. this and that. Mm-hmm. Like you know what? I could, you know what I mean, I can I make really something. Do some shit out of this. Yeah, out of this, right? Shit, I know. It's like also like I don't know. Just think about what you said about your bro. Like, oh yeah, I didn't even pay this and pay this. It's like, yeah, you pay and you give it up for the next apartment and then, oh, the crib. And then you do this and then you do this to do this. But then when you get to, like, let's say you get to, like, a mansion or whatever, you're looking back and you was, like, you was really in your prime. Like, you could have been, like, in your 20s grinding for yeah, grinding for the apartment, grinding for the crib, but you was looking for the next, right? Like, yeah. the next, what's the next fix? What's the next fix? Bro. But you forget. <clears throat> like, you... You was twenty something, right? Whatever you are, twenty whatever. Yeah. In your primes of your elite years, right? Like healthy, happy, living life, and you just like kind of rushing through it. It's yeah. like sometimes, like also like on the show, it's like you gotta just slow down, take in what's enjoy. around you, enjoy the moment, enjoy yeah. the moment because you, you that's all Living you got. the moment too, right? Like I remember the Soul movie where it's like the the jazz musician where he finally played his first show and was like, "What's next? Well, we're just gonna do it again tomorrow." Facts. Where I think it was like. So you got the little fish tells the big fish, yo, I'm trying to make it to the ocean. And the big fish is like, bro, you already in the ocean. He's mm. like, nah, this is just a little pond. But it's like, yo, the whole time, you was already there. Mm. You was just viewing it different kind mm. of ascension. So if you apply that to life, where it's like, yo, you you don't necessarily need to graduate to certain things as long as you do the bare minimum of like, all right, if we man, we got to work, provide for our families, kind of, and provide for our kids. But at the same time, you got to, you got to live and just do journey. something. Yeah, kind of live like, that story. Live your story. Not be like two on the two on the nose of like escape the matrix, right? right. Not, on, but you know, but literally escape yeah, the escape matrix. matrix. Do yeah. do something because like you ever um just go outside and you look at everyone and it's like yo everyone's just on their phone, no like whether it's at a party or you got a cool location at a hotel, at a swimming pool or or be or whatever, right? Niggas just always on their phone, right? Where it's like. Just Yo, enjoy nigga, what you at. Like, yeah, and, and I be that person, yeah. too, where I'm like, damn, I'm, we, we, we out here, and I'm just, like, on my phone. I'm like, damn, dude, why am I on my phone? Like, I could be on my phone Make at home. Make some shit pop off, yeah. Like, bro, do something, bro. Put the phone mm-hmm. down. You got no connection. Read a book, nigga, right. type shit, where it's Learn like, something. yo, like. Nah, it's really, it's really what it is. I think, I think sometimes we just got to tap back into, like, reality. Yeah. It's just tapping into reality again, right? Tapping yeah. in with yourself. I, I think, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. That It was just a good wake-up call to like to really tap in myself, do things that really serve me, that yeah. make me happy, right? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Things that are going to challenge me to be something better, right? Definitely. Like, that's really what it is. That's what I kind of took on this trip. And you see, because like, it was just like, I feel like I was just out of my comfort zone for a lot. Yeah. But like, it's not like, I think I strive sometimes out of my comfort zone. Like, it's I think cool. it's all humans. It's like, we don't want to put ourselves in uncomfortable positions, but when you do, that's how he like that's how a human do. can last like in a burning building or like you know how like when you put to the test, you could really like outlast yourself. Like you can't hold your breath in that long, but when you drowning, you're gonna fight. Swear to God. Unless you just give up. But like you're gonna fight. Like if you're in those situations, you're gonna be like, All right, I'm gonna make the best out of it. But so you don't fact. you don't want to. 
I'll like, tell you how many times I jumped into some water. I barely even know how to swim, bro. But I'm making it to a motherfucking up. nearest ledge or rock or whatever <laughs> yeah, nah. it is. That, that's that's how God. it is. Yeah, that's Swear a part of the fight. I'm a play. Yeah, yeah, for bro. real. You crazy. Like, it's I'm a dog paddle paddle if yeah. I got it, bro. That shit crazy. Don't play with me. Bro, this shit made me think of like back at the yurt thing. Um, There was no, we had no locks. Oh, you're crazy. But so like, people could just walk in the crib? It's crazy because a dude had a crazy hustle because the whole thing is owned by him. He has a bunch of these yurts. He had like a little trailer park thing where it's like a, a mini one bedroom apartment where you could climb to the bed. It's like, and it's all paid by, it's all his. So he's getting bread off it. But yeah, yeah there's no locks unless you can only lock it from the inside. So when we left, right, that shit's open. But it's like something where there was, there's been no situation. What you like mean a, you can only lock it from the inside? Like you can only like lock your door from the inside. So, so when you're sleeping. Is there a key? There's no key. It's literally just putting it in the, uh, the thing, a flimsy oh, ass, right? So it's like, so that's one thing I'm thinking about is like, damn, if some shit go down, if a bear pull up or a nigga pull up, all I got is this wood, this piece, like the, like a wooden block. Like, what the fuck I'm, I'm going to do? Like, and Wait it's like, they come up. yeah, but then when we leave, we come back. Listen, bro, if a bear were to come at you at night, bro, I hope you didn't run outside in the dark. No, no, no. You know what I'm saying? I, I mean, think the safest place is inside the cabin. Yeah, you're right. But I'm saying there's some shit, like, I can't, like, I don't know. Like, there's no, it was just me thinking, like, damn, some shit really do happen, though. I, I can't understand it's like a fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you can still get out if there's a fire inside. Yeah, and the, the car we parked right there. I'm, I parked in the way where I'm like, all right, bro. Shit, <laughs> niggas hopping that that's whip. Your, that's your, listen, bro. Something like, happened yeah. in the whip, first thing in the car. Second, yeah. First thing you go We're not even going out. Yeah, I'm like, bro, the whip is, like, parked right Next to the steps type shit. Like, some shit go down. Hey, bro. We, Swear we out. Like, yo, we out. And then, else. but coming back was OD. Because, like, I had a, the first night, you're like, yo, go in and check. Because we can't lock when we leave. Like, make sure no niggas, like. Storing. Or inside. <laughs> some nigga just. Oh, it's weird inside. Type the shit. Crib. So, I'm like, all right. Oh. This may be, like. This may be. <laughs> I'm walking in, like. Oh, the final <laughs> countdown. <laughs> I was like, I just sneaking out pitch black, like I turn on the lights. Dude, what you you walked in there? What, what you had in your hand? <laughs> what you put in your uh, hand? Vibes, bro. Uh, Nigga vibes. said vibes. Uh, vibes. I'm these like, shits work. Paul shit. said these shits work. All right. If, if some nigga was there, I, that's just some fight or flight. I just gotta do some shit it's, right there. It's bro. a nine to five. This nine to five. This seven nine, to three, yeah. nigga. <laughs> like you should work. If someone was in there, it's bro, hands, bro. I was reevaluating my whole life. I'm like, yo, bro, this is really crazy. Just You're pitch funny. black, nigga. Like something could be on some You're Spider-Man shit. Nigga on the wall. Nigga on the ceiling. About to <laughs> you, you like, was like, yo. yeah, I'm gonna check somebody that, but with just hands, bro. Yeah. It's gonna run the ones. But the shit that's funny is because we went with my car. I'm like, she can't drive stick. So, like, damn, if something should happen, you can't even she leave. She can't even run away. Can't drive stick. The car go, like, duh, 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 duh. it's gonna be stalling the whole time. It's gonna be stalling the whole time. <laughs> I'm like, damn, bro. <laughs> I was like, nah, that's gonna hurt. You go. <laughs> nah, we're talking. Imagine. And the next time we both went, like, yeah, we locked the door, go in. And then we turn on the lights so we know. But, like, nah, that shit was scary as so. hell. That's why I'm like, if it was with mad people, it's like, that sense of security, mm. security where it's like, some shit go down five against one, if it's a bear or five against two, right? But if it's just like, two of us, and I'm just like on the front, I'm like, all right, bro, like, shit, like you gotta be, just one wrong move and it's clip type shit. But that's some white people shit, cause I'm like, I was scared. For that my is life. some white people shit, bro. And even the locks, I'm like, damn though, like, come on, that shit not really stopping that's no one for real. By- it's just because it's like that, a... You could, first of all, that's <laughs> not... not stopping no one for real, though. If some nigga that's, really that's probably one of the dumbest shits ever, bro. Yeah. Because you want you want at least to lock it. Like, it's like for your stuff. Yeah. For anybody to walk in. That's why we took Anything that shit with to us. walk in, yeah. And then even at night, that's why I'm just like... And the thing is, it's only like that until... Because he said, yeah, like, um, we ain't never had no situations. I'm like, well, that's until the first situation. You told him that? No, nah, but I'm thinking, I'm like, yeah, it's, it's until the first nigga gets like... Chopped up in like thirty pieces, then niggas gonna start getting locks on the doors, right? Like, like that's really what it is. Like, yeah, right. In the, in the, it would happen in upstate New York, in the middle of the woods, in the middle of like nowhere, nowhere. bro. And you yeah. could easily get away, with, get away with something, bro. But yeah, all it takes is the first person. So you don't recommend this spot. I'll get another spot. <laughs> so uh, I go <laughs> yeah, I. Now that I know, how you felt about the communal showers? Actually, the communal was like it. They finally opened it up for us. Before, it was the outdoor shit, but it was brick. 
So we was like, hey, bro, niggas only just use the white people. Like, the niggas not. Because it's too cold to be taking an outdoor shower and it's like 30 degrees wind type shit. Yeah, it's crazy. But the community it was, was that cool. cold out there? It was brick. Yeah, it was brick. But, and then it was raining the next day. Like, Damn. But the community was, it was like modern. We got the showers, um, like a modern sink type shit. It was like a piano. And, um, but yeah, hot water, just like regular shit. So if that's why I didn't feel as if it was like, OD secluded, like we taking a hot ass shower, brush, brushing our teeth with hot water. Yeah, like hey, no, bro. That's that's good. So that's why that was the only that was my favorite spot. So like, let's go here. It's heat in here. Got hot yeah, water. Exactly. <laughs> it's it's Nothing like more cozy. Shit. Yeah, exactly. Steam coming out and shit. I was like, if anything, nigga, we sleep in here, bro. Like real talk, it's warm, For bro. Real. Like nah. But yeah, man. For real, he couldn't even put a heater in any other spots. Yeah, the, I think other spots did have because our spot was cheap. It was like eighty dollars a night. Eighty, and it was like there's other spots that had like the indoor bathroom and like I think the indoor heating system and stuff like that. But I guess it wasn't as you're not about to go there for a mini hotel or whatever. That's just in the boonies. Yeah. Like you only gonna do it for camping or glamping type shit. I'm not about to get a hotel. Yeah, that's like right. yeah, like yeah, it's mad weird. So do but nah, yeah, bro. I, yeah, that's cool. So nobody else was in there taking a shower with you then. No, nah, no way, yeah, no one oh, else. Yeah, because you could um, it's it's like kind of like a bathroom where it's like. Occupied, stalls. not occupied yeah. type. But it's like the whole building itself. It's just like a small building. It's stalls that, like showers and stalls. Yeah, but you get the whole building. You could just lock it. So you, it was just us. It's oh, like, yeah. Man. So it was like, yeah, you get your privacy, do what you need to do and all that. And then close the curtains and all that. And I think there was just one family who left the same day we got there. That They was at another spot. We seen them like driving away, which is probably a bit scary because we're like, damn, it's just us in this whole little community. It's just us. And... We 30 minutes from the nearest, from civilization. We know probably it's like two hours. We're not, we not about to get there. And we black. Like, you're not about to pull up to a white person's house in the middle of the night. Like, yo, we need help. Yeah, that's like, that's what they used to do when, um, in the Underground Railroad. Keep them sent to the nether realms, bro. No cap. No center. What was that? Get out. That's yeah, how, get out. That's, that's all get out. out. That's some yeah, get out shit like, right there. The thing, but, yeah, bro, I mean, it's, you gotta... I do what you gotta do. Yeah, I mean, it's out, out your comfort zone for real. Out your comfort zone. Gotta step out the comfort zone. Yeah, I'm always gonna remember it too, just because it's like. It's an experience. It's yeah, an it's experience. experience. Yeah, right. Regardless. I love experiences. Yeah, like. I would. I, that's the. My, my budget is, I mean, like, what would, would you spend money on? I was like, experiences. Yeah, like. like I like experiences. Because you're just always gonna. Over See just the bed. You always gonna yeah, remember that like, shit, bro. You're not gonna remember the bread you spent on it. Yeah, like, you probably not. You don't wanna go hiking six hours up a mountain, but like, not hey, no you, more. I did it one time, did it, though. though. Like, yeah, I that did that motherfucker. Cool. I seen a volcano explode. You could tell niggas too. You could, like, hey. That shit crazy. Yeah. Like, actually, like, you know, you don't you don't see that shit for real. Like, what's that place that got um destroyed by the volcano? That ancient. It's like an ancient civilization. Um, Pompeii? Mm. Pompeii, Pompeii. So it was like the Roman or something where like the volcano like um, erupted and took out like everyone or some shit like that. Oh, wow. So I feel like... Is that like... Uh, it's like... For the, the end of the dinosaurs and shit like that too? It's it's basically like the same type of vibe, but this was like... It was in the 80s. Def, I'm pretty sure in the 80s. I, I can see Pompeii. it though. I can see it though because when I was seeing that lava come down, they was the, 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 the guide was telling me that there used to be a bunch of towns on the side of the mountain. Yeah. And then that, uh, then once that, because that, the mountain wasn't, that volcano wasn't always um, pumping. This is what I was talking about. So, like, meters of ash in Permis after catastrophic eruption of Mount Vesuvius. That's what it is. Where is that? Um, Nepal. Southern Italy. Southern, yeah, yeah, Italy. Wow. That'd be crazy. Imagine, like, they said, yo, this volcano is erupting, nigga. Not so the dude was telling, was telling us that there was towns on the side because that volcano wasn't active until like it became active, and they wiped out all of that, all those towns, all those people, all of them died from like. That's so that's 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 insanity. Being burnt that's to scary. death, burnt is yeah, by lava. I'd rather see. I'd rather run. Just die instant. Bro. You can't even run down. Like, like where that. you gonna go? Like yeah, you can like, run, but like it's a it's far up though. Yeah, that's the thing. It's not like yeah, it's not like a pretty. And they not they back then. It's like they ain't have no like. News where niggas gonna say, "Yo, this shit gonna erupt in like nah, two years." Nah, you see it though. You see it. I feel like it'll be the same day, not no, the same, day, same but day. Yeah, same it's, day, but yeah, it's same minute. Imagine you wake you up see late. That shit and you, you're like, damn, like niggas, <laughs> like shit coming through your roof. How far are you gonna go? <laughs> like if you if you see it that day, you, I don't think you can get that far. You probably it's could, slow but. though, but it's just it's like if you if you don't get hit by the initial 
of it coming out, yeah, I think you could get away. But if you get hit by that initial, it's over. Yeah, or the aftermath of like the buildings falling, no, and I, shit going yeah, on all fire. That shit is good. It's good for that. And then if the whole the Kurt. whole town, you some of it gets stampeded. So the whole it was like there used to be trees and shit on it. That whole thing, like you could see the lava just going down the mountain. Yeah, and you see all that shit was just cooked. That's what we do. It's cooked. It's crazy though. So I mean, it's an experience. I really enjoy that though. But I go one of you. gotta days. live life though. Yeah, you got to. Yeah, you can't be scared. Yeah, bro. I signed up for um, a, the Tough Mudder. You heard ever heard of that shit? It's a it's an obstacle course run. Oh, that's dope. Yeah. So is it like a a marathon, but like it's only it's like three to five miles. Okay. But it's like shit, it's mad obstacles in between, like uh, American Ninja Warrior type shit. Oh, so is it like you gotta jump over like water and then? You gotta, yeah, like, so you gotta swim. You, there's one crawling in the mud under some shit. That does seem... Then you running through some shit. Then you gotta climb and teamwork and jump over... Damn, that just seemed like... In the moment, you'll be like, nah, that shit hell, bro. Yeah. You'll be like, nah, I'm trying to just go home, bro. I've been trying to run lately. But... Just a bit. Yeah, practice. That that does seem fun, though. It seems like it's gonna be mad fun. And it's gonna be like another like you know just the experience too like and that's cool yeah like yeah. and I needed something to give me like motivation to get back in the gym yeah yeah I felt that when is it May eighteenth oh shit like a month away damn yeah you niggas gotta put in work yeah yeah I've been trying to run a mile yeah a day yeah cause three to five is it's not that bad it's not that bad it's not bad but I guess combined with you doing like yeah that's the only thing stuff, that's the only thing that's gonna feel like ten twenty miles like easy type. Or something like that. Nah, that's crazy. I what I do something like that. I got asthma, so I don't know. I got I got asthma with allergies now too. For real? I had to. I brought you my I brought from, my shit up. I said yeah. That's that's also scary from too. From allergies. Cause I brought my shit up. Down, I brought my shit up the volcano. Cause like if some shit go down, like that's just that's a scary thing. If some shit go down, like you can't even really like. Bro, get that's that on somewhere. the volcano with the dust and everything. Yeah. That's so um. Weird. I had to I had to do it a couple times because the dust was getting in my airway and it was like you know what I'm saying yeah like OD there was so much dust in my nose and in my airways that every time I spit or I blow my nose there was black shit that came out so damn that's OD I know you had the best shower after that though like nigga was in there oh, for like I was in there for day. like two or three hours <laughs> yeah bro. and then after I took my shower I went and straight to got a massage yeah for my feet it was what you eat though and I had a big, big ass, ass yes. <laughs> It was Yo. my last day though too, so I got there. It was my last day, so I was like, "I'm not about to." Everybody went to sleep. I was like, "I'm not about to sleep." Like yeah. I got, a, I went around the town. It was um Holy Week, so I'm on oh, the okay, side yeah, too. Yeah. Uh, so they had do really big celebrations, but it's like the day I left Saturday. You know, Saturday, just right before, right before. So I didn't really get to see, but they had like the pre stuff. They had big people painting on the floor. They I had bands like outside that. and shit. It was. They really take it really serious because they're Mayan. Yeah. So they're very Native American. They're Mayan culture. So they take like religious, like they're very I religious. Yeah, I want to go to like one of the, I want to go to like Ethiopia. That's because they have like yeah. the oldest like religious type of kind of mm-hmm. like system or like Italy or something like that. I've seen the Roman Catholic like cathedrals or whatever. Mm-hmm. Like if that's what yeah, like that would be like dope. Cause that, it'd be beautiful. Like, so I think yeah. that's kind of what we kind of got away from really. Like a different type of art, yeah. yeah I definitely want to go go out the country and see something. So I'm gonna just stack I my would, bread. I'm, I'm trying to move out the country now. Yeah, it, if you don't get no social security, like that's gonna be the move though. Niggas gonna be out the country like, hey, fuck it. Bro. I'm gonna come back see my grandkids like three times. Three, I'll leave some kids out there. <laughs> so I'm I'm come here. back. I mean, hey, if there's no social security or and I know a lady from work. my last place that I worked. And she lived in Costa Rica or, yeah, Costa Rica for like three, four years. Damn. And she moved back here. That seems tough. And she moved out there because her husband had cancer. Oh, and if, yo, I've I seen the thing where like you could go to Mexico for um dental stuff and all that because it'd be cheaper. I that's where we go to DR. Yeah. We go to DR. So a lot of times, like Nadine, she goes to Egypt back to do all her shit. Yo, Egypt seems dope. Egypt seems mad fire. Yeah, I want to go to Egypt. You just got to be on the customs. Yeah, yeah. You gotta be really or respectful, like, or, um, and you can't be yeah. on no shit. Especially if you, especially if you're a shorty too. Yeah, you, you can't, can't be on no you like. Can't yeah. be on no shit. No, and she gotta be wearing. She gotta wear. You gotta cover everything. You gotta like, cover. Yeah. Cause then they really, cause they, they really look at you crazy. Yeah. Like if, unless you like, nah, you don't care about people looking at you. 
they gonna look at you crazy. And yeah. some places like they may take it so serious that they be like, nah, like type yeah, and, and you don't and you don't know. They be you don't know. Yeah, you don't know. So they like, can put you and you don't know. You don't know what you do. Let's say you bad custom or something, right? You may not know, and they might just throw you behind bars. Type yeah, no. Nah. Egypt, I that's, think, and that's in like, like all different countries, right? Like, yeah. you gotta be really respectful about shit that you do. Yeah, I know Ethiopia's probably. I think it's certain type of country. Muslim countries they don't Tough. play. They, nah. bro, <laughs> yeah. Tough. They, they even they Dubai. Yeah, Dubai. Yeah, don't play. Like they that's play. like some shit where like I'm not even. I don't be doing nothing, but like yeah, like even like yeah, the woman, the modesty, or just even like smoking, or just like just like. I'm playing that. Yeah, they don't play. Yeah, bro, they do not play. Like they trigger. It's just don't get me wrong. They probably smoke and drink all the time over there. But yeah, I'm not playing that. Over yeah, there. not not taking no chances, especially if you're not a. Even if you was a citizen, still though, because well, no games, bro. Like you trying to come back home, trying to come back to America, nigga. I need my like, shit, bro. Yeah, you bugging? Like nah, that was crazy, bro. Like yo, in the media, I just seen Chance, Chance in the shorty. His uh, wife divorced, divorcing. Yeah, I seen. I was that. like, damn, that made me kind of, cause I was just like, cause I've been seeing. That's, like, a, that's a strong. That was a strong couple. Cause you got to like, my thing is like, damn, what? That was a strong. To keep a relationship, couple. cause like, bro, they was like since young. Since young, that's a this. power couple in my eyes. And then niggas divorced. I'm like, bro, like, it was all downhill when you seen him twer- uh, some shorty twerking on him. At I think festival. yo, at that point, I think they was already separated. Cause I think so. That's why they had to make it public. Like yo, just let y'all know we not together. So, cause it would it would look weird. But even then, it's just because like, he was damn. saying he was saying, uh, you know, because at first he said this was just uh, this is just a boy trip, like you know, all yeah. pass or whatever, and she was cool with it and this and that. That's what you were saying at first on that. Yeah. They but the now... Thing. I feel like they was already, like, done at that point. But even then, it's like... I don't know, because everyone's different. Shit whatever. happens. Yeah, shit happens, right? It's just like... My thing is like, damn. It is tough, though. That's been a couple, like... Yeah. That's like if J. Cole and his girl were yeah. to break up. Or, or even Kendrick. Kendrick, yeah, exactly. That's like one of those big... That you like, oh, he's fa- that's faithful. And that's like, you know, that's love. Like, that's real love. Yeah. Like, I don't know if Kendrick cheated, though. Cause I, cause wasn't you, that the whole figure? wasn't the whole album not the whole album like the past album kind of about that where he was like yo he kind of I don't know let her down or he was doing with niggas like he used he the same the language <laughs> yeah some, for, for, for. yeah like where it's like I don't know but you it's trying different to get her back. it's different you got the money and it, it's yeah but that ties into the other thing the big three. Big me, I mean it's alright, it's cool. <laughs> I mean like I I, I like for it though. I, I I fuck with it though. I fuck with it because we need it. Yeah. But what I don't fuck with right now is niggas not responding. <laughs> yeah, I don't like how Drake was doing just the IG post. I was like, damn, bro. Cause they said how old nigga had shots at Meg Thee Stallion, bro. Listen, <laughs> listen <laughs> nigga had nigga listen, was not scared of Meg Drake. Stallion. Drake, of course, Drake not gonna. Drake don't come at you with a song, right? Like he, he don't really be coming at you a song. But he come at you is, sideways with something <clears throat> different, like out of random. Like for Pharrell, yeah. he bought Pharrell's like favorite, like one of his um, one of his uh favorite pieces or some shit. Or oh, I think it was like an award or something. The petty song. I mean, my thing was just like, and he pissed in it. We seen him rap, like for Mega Star. Like he we seen this like a diss. My thing is like, how you just gonna diss, like people that, not that he people did don't care about. Too. Meek, yeah, my thing is now he's doing the same thing that he was getting at Meek at. Now he's a Twitter fingers type dude. Like, nah, bro. nah, nah, because even for Kanye, he didn't really diss Kanye. He just bought a nah, crib nah. next to he Kim's just, crib. He dissed Kanye. Though. He was on some, like, uh, Scorpion. There was definitely some... Yeah, where he said, yeah, where he was the bar. Like, uh, I, bought a, I bought a crib right next to your uh, baby mom, something yeah, like that. Yeah, or just like... um That, but see, look, he gonna hit you sideways. That's what I'm saying. Drake gonna do something, he gonna hit you sideways, and then he gonna say it. You feel um, me? I, I I feel I feel you. I just I, I just I like what they're doing here. Yeah. I think if it's the real reason that future's coming at him because of the shorty, I think that's, that's soft. Whack. Yeah, that's why. That's mad whack well, because like, he's a nigga that's talking about she for the streets. It's a generic. Hoes is hoes, you know what I'm yeah. saying? And it, on top of that, it's a generic three or four. That's the one thing you're saying. Like it's not even. It's why like, is Metro mad at him though? I, I don't even forgetting. know. We know. I think just because Metro's with Future, I think it may just be on. Oh wait, no, no, no Metro no. got beef with Drake. You remember there was an album when Metro took his verse off. He took. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he was just like he just didn't like how it fit on it. But I think, yeah, I don't know. I think they have beef or some shit. They and got the, beef though. But plus, Metro they've and been Future's saying, voice. Yeah, I guess you know they've they been saying they have yeah. beef though. 
But I get the if future copped on him because if he gets some shorty, that's why. But I like what Kendrick's doing is coming at them and shit like that because we need yeah. rap beat. We need yeah, something we need. to liven, look, yeah. liven it up. And we need these niggas to drop something like, you know, come at each other. Like, say some shit. They always been too friendly for me. I Because I want to see Koei do nothing, but I don't know. I want, I want him to come at that again. It man. makes sense coming at Drake, I think. Well, actually, no. But he, he didn't even, I'm not, in, in my reality, he didn't even come like at Jake go crazy. Yeah. He was just like a bystander type shit. Yeah, they just kind of straight. Like you, you part of the big three niggas, so hey, you don't. Get I know, the but next I want three. that nigga J Cole to come at him though. Yeah, no lie Has to J Cole you. even been in like beef though? I don't think nah, he's been really. In beef. He has really. some beef. Yeah, like slight beef, like with no name. Yeah, but I, have to, I don't slight know if I beef, really but it wasn't it. like it wasn't like no. It was just like on he'd be having like slight beef with like Kanye, but like he'd be like you know yeah slight beef with Lil Pump. It's not like he'll say like one or two things, but that's it. Like yeah. it's not. But it was never no like yo like like nah, no nah, nah, let's get it shaking. No, nah, 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 nah. yeah, never. That's what we need. Even Kendrick ain't really. He ain't really. He don't really be nothing. beefing. Nah. He don't, I never. He never beef like that. Drake been the one that that had beef with niggas. A lot of people. Nig- niggas be having beef with Drake. Nah, it, it was both. It was both. Niggas be beefing with nah, Drake. Nah, niggas be beefing with Drake, but the last one, I think the big one was a push one. Yeah. That, that one was cool. Who started that, though? Nah, but I think Drake, because it was, um, Drake was always throwing shots at his party or it was something, because it, it, it started with, like, Lil Wayne or something like that. Like, so it wasn't, it wasn't even Push and, and Meek, not Push and Meek, Push and Drake. It was like some shit with Wayne, and then that just stemmed over or whatever. And then niggas had their thing. Um, I don't really like how that one ended, too, because I want at least Drake to put the track out. Like, don't do the um the smoke and mirrors. Where it's like, yo, I had some shit that would have killed you, nigga, but Jay Prince told me not to drop it. Yeah, like, nigga, just, just drop it. Like, it's, it's rap. Like, niggas I don't know if it was a, was it a song or was it something else, though, that he said was going to He said it was some, like, crazy shit in a song. But like it would have been too much. I'm like, bro, at this point, niggas don't niggas don't care, bro. Like niggas has said, there's nothing you can say. Who knows? Who knows? Niggas be trying. Yeah. Um, the niggas ain't driving. Niggas be trying. Bro. The Drake and Meek, that was cool. Drake and Meek was, I guess, cool because like I think it was only that back was and forth. That's probably the biggest one. But Drake, Drake cooked them, I think, and then Meek did the Twitter finger shit. Like Drake was just tweeting. Meek is down bad. And now Meek is down bad. <laughs> yeah. Meek is down bad. See, the, I was telling B this like, yo, social media made us dislike niggas because like. If Biggie and Pac had social media, we probably would have seen them in a different light. Cause like when niggas really start talking and they have a they have a chance to become the villain, then you see that's that's what's happening with Meek right now. Again, he's they gotta take it in a second time because he just be it's like bro. I, sometimes you just gotta just shut up, just let that shit just pass, and niggas will forget. Like he be putting himself front and center. It's like nigga, like. Shut up. Bro. It's like you know what I'm saying. You, like you bring all the attention to you, bro. to you. Yeah, and get it, the fuck out the way, bro. <laughs> it ought to be good attention. Why like. you? Why is he always <laughs> put it in the middle of some shit, bro? Like get away, bro. It's like he swear he's so tough and shit, bro. Nah, bro. Save yourself, bro. Save yourself. Yeah, bro. Like sometimes Diddy, just let Diddy run away, bro. Don't go try to back him up and shit. The Diddy shit is crazy too. Um, the only thing is son. he was caught on video though. Yeah. The thing is, like, the thing is, he be caught though doing this shit. <laughs> he don't shit, even though. care though, dude. That's a crazy thing, bro. The footage I got, <clears throat> that nigga's the one that's recording it. Like, how this nigga Diddy is the one recording himself doing the wild shit. Like, that's what's crazy to me. Did they get him yet? Nah. Did they? Nah, I don't think so. I think they did. I don't think they got him like in custody. But they got his. They got his. Um. Uh, his brand shit. Like they, they definitely oh, they got him. Like he not. Unless you leave the country. But they said his sons is on it, too. I forgot which one. The older one? I think it was Justin. I'm not sure which one. If it was Justin or... No, nah, they coming for everybody. They even said, Ashton Kutcher reportedly fears being drawn into investigation of longtime friend Diddy. That's crazy. And then the 50 shit. I think 50 was in it, too, because they said 50's baby mama, either 50 hit it or some shit like that, or doing something crazy. So it's like... They got everyone in the it's music. It's really random niggas coming out saying they was with Diddy. They just putting niggas in there, bro. <laughs> and there was that one nigga that was talking they about it. They seen all the niggas in the party. Yeah, there was some other nigga, like, I think it was Mad Zesty. They were saying, like, he was just, like, chatting. He was like, yeah, I was with Diddy to himself. And it was like, yo, niggas just be, lying. Just be like, bro. Like, I don't know if you ever seen the video. It that was, shit to um, yourself, bro. Like, it was Drewski on, uh, <laughs> on uh, some podcast. It was the... Um, 
Wallow. Yeah. The Wallow podcast. Wallow. Was it when he said he was he was dead? But he, he was like, yeah, he was like, nigga, trying to get ahead of it. He was like, yo, so you was at the Diddy talk, the Diddy party? He said, like, whoa, 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 what you mean? What you looking at like that? Like, I was there, bro. I was at those parties. So, see, niggas, I mean... That's funny. He was there, but, like, at least niggas gotta be smart to at least get ahead of it. Like, nah, I was definitely there. I'm letting you niggas know I was there. But, yeah, was but, that party. I wasn't in those rooms, though. It's like, even if niggas about lying, it. you gotta... Think about it, though. Not everybody had to be that type of party, because yeah. Jay was at some of those parties. I mean, it's shit, bro. It's possible, like... Jay, Kevin, what was that iconic video where they're all at the same party? Is the, like, um... But the thing and he's is, like though, in a salmon suit or some shit like that. The, the Rock Nation brunch. Yeah, yeah. But the thing is, though, like, all of them know. I think that's kind of the scary part. They know. The they like, know. Yeah, so they it's know. not even, like, and they could have been, the thing is, I guess people is like, yo, Diddy just made someone mad where now all his dirty laundry is being brought up. But, like, they all in on it in some way, whether that's just being complicit. Sure. And even, even if you're just complicit, that's crazy to be complicit to someone just they raping all know. people, doing all this, doing all that. That's still crazy though. It's like, damn, like you is arguably just as bad because you're just letting that happen. This is worse than R. Kelly for real, because niggas, yeah, niggas really. I don't know if people really knew like that for R. Kelly, but they everybody's scared of this. Yeah, I feel one like, way or another, like yeah. if Diddy's gonna come out and say something about them, oh yeah, yeah, or something's gonna come out about them, or like you know if people find out that they were part of it. Yeah, and that's. And I think, uh, like, Maul, some people were saying, like, yo, it's an attack on hip-hop. But I feel like it's not really, though, because, yeah, he's a big part of hip-hop, Diddy. But at the same time, you got a wrong is a wrong regardless. You can't just ignore the wrong someone does just because they do something else that right. could be, you know, good. I mean, yeah, because Diddy has a big effect on hip-hop, obviously. But at the same time, it's a package deal. Right, so he had to do certain things to get it to this point. Like, hey, you can't just ignore. It. Like, we're just gonna let niggas sure. just rape niggas, sexual assault, no, yeah, you can, that's, power that's just because niggas break you a good rapper. Like, that's that can't be acceptable. Yeah, so, and also the idolatry type. So niggas just see their heroes and like, nah, it can't, it can't be them. Know what I mean, like, no, Diddy, it can't be Diddy. No, Diddy's the nigga that like, nah, fam, nah, like, they, take it, the veil off. I ain't gonna lie to you, Diddy give those vibes, bro. Yeah. I mean, and it's, I don't know. I mean, it's, it's, it's not like it's just life, but not everyone's a good person. Like, I feel like being a good person isn't the default, if that makes sense. Like, people are just people, and some people, like, abuse their power. Like, not everyone can have power, so some, some people are going to abuse it. And you see one example, like, I don't, I mean, like, right. obviously he's a father to people, and, you know, this, this, and that, but at the end of the day, it's like, Hey, bro, you just telling lies or whatever. Nah, facts. That's a fact. And then some hey. niggas don't got self control, and they just let like facts. So if if just because a nigga show you that he has sex with another nigga, don't mean you about to just let this nigga have sex with sex with you, like like Hell damn nigga, no. just so you could. Hell no. Like if the thing is like it was that's it, that can't be it. Like damn, just because he showed you a video, like oh you know what shit. It's all right. Shit, it's hey, okay. Like, let's Might get as well to do it. it. Let's get right into yeah, it. Yeah, it's like, uh-huh. damn, bro. Like, you gotta have. Like, where your more? Where your self respect? Yeah. So I mean, like, if you if you not gay, if you gay, right? Yeah. Go I mean, do what you gotta do. And even then, nah, because even if you were shorty, right? Like, even then, no matter. No, sexual, and even that too. It's like, bro, like, oh, just cause. But like, that's the thing, though, right? Like, there's there's the other the next question is like, how they coerce them to get into this, right? Yeah. Like, is it drugs? Yeah. Is this just like, oh, we're giving you bread? It's just like they're forcing them. It's just you know what I'm That's saying. That's different, yeah. If it's like, it's, it's it's also like, how did they get into yeah. this situation? It's I say it's not in this situation that I've seen because this is different. I say it'd be both in the sense of like, did he's over uh, abusing his power, co- coercing or whatever. But the other side of it's like, how bad do you want it? Type shit, and it's like some niggas just want an OD bag where niggas like, yo, I don't want to work a regular job. I'm trying to take I want to be the best, and I'm gonna do whatever it takes. Hey, like, yo. hey, and it's like some shit where it's hey, like, motherfucking yo. When you really think about it, sometimes we be our biggest enemies. Type shit. We're like, bro, you wasn't really that like put into a corner, nigga. You just it was just that greed it's where like now you're gonna yeah. do whatever just because you want to. I mean, so it's like it, it's both sides, but. In a regular sense, it would just be the abusers part because you just abusing their power. 
That's it. But listen, bro, that shit is disturbing. That's yeah, disturbing. Nah. That's disturbing. Yeah. I wonder. I wonder how it really plays out. Be independent, I, bro. I wonder what's gonna come out of it. I wonder. I wonder who's gonna come out of this alive. Bro, they said Diddy's sons. One of them niggas was yeah. raping. I was like, nah, they got the whole. The whole they family. All of them probably. These niggas low key old. I even realized like the. They old. They're really thirty. Like, the other one's like twenty seven or something, and like, I was tight because this nigga posted on IG like he was like rolling dice. In like Harlem or something, I'm like, I hate when niggas do that. And it's like, bro, you like, you not from you got street, bread, bro. nigga. Like, why you? It's like, like Ti's son when he was yeah. fucking out. It's like, bro, like, come on, like, but, wait, like, but it is what they it gotta is. show their gangster somehow, bro. Somehow, but you're but, not really gangster. You not, bro. But yeah, they want to be gangster so bad when they not from there. That's and that that's. If you, you a suburban kid, part of, part of that on you Diddy. a suburban kid, bro. You just a suburban kid, bro. Yeah, like, I'm a suburban kid, but like, I'm not gonna say you could blame it on Diddy, but that is because there are some negative effects that hip hop is um putting up front. We're like, yo, there's a reason why everyone wants to be from the hood or whatever. There's a reason why people like think that if you're not from the hood or if you don't look like you're from the hood, then you're just not cool or whatever. There's a reason why people of other races. Look at black people and expect them to be hood. Or, like, if you talk, if you articulate yourself well, they're like, damn, they're shocked that you articulate yourself well because they expect you to be, like, a rapper or some shit like that. Or just, like, you know, where it's, like, it's, it's, a, good, it's a good and bad. But I think that's the thing about life where we're in this age where people can separate the good, the good from the bad. Because even now, like, like someone like J. Cole isn't, like, um portraying himself as like some nigga that don't know nothing like he'd be like nah i went to college i did all that he's a smart nigga or whatever portrays himself as smart articulates himself and there's other people other rappers that you don't got to i mean be a drill rapper to make it like it's not niggas that you went to school with and then they doing right. drill rap and it's like but what you <laughs> what you rapping about like you didn't you don't got no gun nigga like so are you rapping about you pulling up in the ops and but that's not the here nor there. Niggas know the story. Niggas that look within themselves, because that's between you and God. Facts. God knows that he gave you... <laughs> he God, knows you no God knows what God knows you did. God knows everything what you did. You he know who you all, are. <laughs> like, you know who you are. Yeah. If you can live with them demons, yeah, that's on you, bro. Yeah, especially if self-inflicted demons is crazy. Like, to not even... <laughs> Like and he was living his best <laughs> life, so afflicted. Like you ain't have to go down this path, bro. Them, but niggas like that built. Like when you, I feel like again, when you get to a certain type of, I guess, status or thing. Yeah, your mind is so altered to a point where it's like, you, you, you you're borderline. Like yeah, something wrong with got, you. Yeah, like, he he got to like he got to Epstein level. Yeah, yeah. you know, he's the black that's, Epstein. Like, no cap, yeah. he's yeah. at that level. That's this is what this too. is gonna come out to be. If that's the thing where you gotta kind of separate yourself because there could be a lot. If he snitches or whatever, there's a lot of and, people that the lawsuits down. and there's people that people are like gonna be so shocked. You're gonna be like, damn, like, not him, not her, not boom, not that, right? Where it's like that's kind of crazy. But I feel like I feel like we as a people or, or as a generation are getting smarter where we can separate things like not like we know these people aren't superhumans. Just because they're famous doesn't mean that they're good people. No, for sure. Right? Where we can be like, nah, you... Nah, he did that. He yeah, did like, it. he did that. Like, nah, he did that shit, bitch. Nah, for sure. <laughs> like, you know what no, I mean? Sure. Like, we're, quick, we, we're quick to do it. Yeah, and it's not no, like, nah, no case. If there, especially if there's evidence, yeah, you got yeah, it. That's like, it. It's, no, like, it's not like, oh, uh, we don't, you are. like, we don't really, like, uh, we we attach to the artist, yeah. but it's not in the point, like, like, oh, you know, he's just, I feel like he's a good person. Nah. Yeah, like, last generation with R. Kelly, where it's like, Niggas see, niggas know he did it. Yeah, it's videos, was, but niggas like, like nah, nah, it's cool. <laughs> like, nah, it's like nah, that it, shit. He could sing though, so right. Yeah, because he was still singing. Um, I believe I can yeah, fly. In graduation, but all that shit been happened though. Like, which is kind of fun in hindsight. Like, niggas been new, but we still like. But at the time, he was just that nigga. <laughs> yeah, he's that nigga. He's though. that nigga at the time. That's yeah. the difference. Yeah, nah, it's OD. It's not funny. Nah, that's so. That, I mean, I think we do a good job of separating. Good and bad in people, and saying that yeah, you did this. You're a bad person. Yeah. I mean, it is what it is, right? You got to atone for what you did. Yo, when Bad Bad Boys for Life came on, and I I was like, dang. That was one of my favorite Diddy songs, I think. But I was like, damn. 
Now I'm like, that's that's you know what's my favorite one of my favorite songs is I'm coming home. Yeah, I used to pop that OD. That shit yeah, so hard. especially because like <clears throat> I didn't know like back then listening to it, I didn't know that like yo he was involved in like hell no Boy. big death and all that. But now it's like listening to it. It's, like, yo, they said they like, found a uh, Tupac murder. But I feel like they they say that like every every year though. Nah, this thing came out for real. They get Tupac, and it's a different dude like every other year. Where I saw it. Mm. Dwayne Kick D. Davis has long been known to investigate as one of the four suspects identified early in the investigation. He isn't the accused gunman, but he was described as the group's ringleader by authorities Friday at a news conference and in court. Man, yo. Imagine being uh like still niggas still like going over this case yeah and getting caught like thirty years later that's crazy like that's so long I'd be ago. upset bro like yeah <laughs> like that's a whole a whole lifetime I thought like you could only get tried for one thing for one case like one time this thing oh so he got, got tried, tried. He, he, probably, he probably this trial was just that long they just okay, never yeah. threw it out they never niggas okay. love Tupac so much that they never threw this shit out that's crazy like immortalized. Think Tupac, about that. Like, Think about Tupac. that. Yeah, like, this trial Tupac. was in court for like 20, 30 years. This is crazy. Because you're going to get tried for one thing. One yeah, you, it's the, um, which is like two-sided because like if you really did it, it's and like you got away, that's but it. But like if you didn't OJ. do it and the nigga's just dragging it, yeah, like the OJ, it's, it's like, yeah, like I don't know because at the same time, I guess it just goes to like morality. Like, yo, do you want there to be harsher sentences? But then at the risk of like, you could really... Get someone killed, or a nigga locked up for 40, 50 years, and he didn't even do it. Right. Like there was a dude who just got released, and he said like it's so hard for him. It was like for a murder he didn't commit, and he had like thirty. He got th- he was in prison for thirty years. He gets a he better sue though. Right, but it's like I think the point is it doesn't even matter because like you lost. He's all getting that time. money, or whatever. You he can sue, so much but time. what can you like, bro? You you can't get that time back. Bro. It's like your life is done. It's not like done, but it's like like yo, like that's a long ass. That's thirty years is crazy. We're not even thirty. Like think of everything we learned. Like you, you live a whole lifetime in there, and then now you have to live outside, and then it's like so sad because like bro, you only get one chance on this side, and then that's just taken away from you. And it's like that's what, you even do. what can you even do? Like you didn't even do nothing. It's not like. You can tell this nigga, nah, it's the wrong crowd, or you was a bad person. Like, bro, I, t- I ain't do it, bro. Like, yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, that's that sad. is sad, yo. Shout out. Oh, hopefully, everybody's, uh, shout out to y'all, bro. Yeah. Hopefully, y'all get out free if y'all ain't do it for real. But then flip, where it's like, we could let the people that actually did it kind of go. So it's like, it's like Fuck flip. Them. It's like, it's so hard. That's hard. Because it's two sides to every coin. It's like, Either your life can be destroyed when you didn't do it, or you could be out free and you you definitely did that shit. And I just hope things like that don't happen as much now, right? Like, yeah. I hope they really catch who. You know what I'm saying? I think they do though. For Tupac. For in general. In general yeah, just I, I think I think there's more to see. There's usually more evidence now. Yeah. To catch it's right harder. Person. Yeah, it's harder to uh, to frame somebody and do all this. You got to really be. Because there's in always going to be something though. to catch you. Yeah. That's different. So, like. That's different. You never though. know. You never know. I That's feel like. different. Like if you're in a high place and you could alter shit. I mean, we know people that that are cops that were racist. They're not the best people in high school. And it's like, th- like bro, them niggas could end your life, plan some shit, and like easily, and just kind of just derail you or whatever. Cause think about like a cop. A cop could just kill you for, and then it's just like, yeah. Like, just think, like, bro, life is split second. Like, and we know, like, and it's like, because I'm seeing this people, like, you grew up with, and now they're officers, and you're like, hold on, bro. So this nigga could really just kill me. Oh, this nigga was, he had something in his pocket. He he looked like a threat. And then that's it. Like, you're sure, you're like, your book is closed. Or just plan some shit on me, or just give you a ticket, or whatever, some bullshit. And, yeah, yeah, we just got dark. But, like, yeah, that, I mean, it's, it's like, true. yeah, like. Because all these people in power are just regular people. And people that are either racist or misogynist or whatever. They're just whatever. Yeah. Nah, it's... 
you always got to be wary about your surrounding. Yeah. Who you dealing with, right? Like a situation. That's like the biggest thing, right? How to how to de-escalate any type of situation. Yeah. yeah That's the sure. biggest thing, bro. All right, fuck it. It be like that, bro. It's life, bro. It's but life, bro. You get... It's life, bro. Honestly, bro, when people tell you some shit, like some fucked up shit, <laughs> like, you know, when niggas... Honestly, words don't even hurt, bro. Yeah. I think, I think like, if somebody's, like, you know, if they want to get some shit off, let them get it off. Like, you can say whatever you want. It's not going to hurt me. Yeah. But if you put your hands on me, then, you that's know, different. That, that's yeah, different. But if you can say whatever you want, like, right, like, Life I'm just sure. going to be like, all right, don't cool, yeah, I'm not... Yeah. Cause some was, niggas really be, yeah. Niggas like, get stabbed and died, life. bro. Yeah. Bro, we was at the bar at JoJo's. And um, I guess some shorty... He came with some dude, I guess, was talking to Shorty, or he came with Shorty. And the Shorty talked to him, started talking to another dude. And they got, they started fighting. Um, turn, Came out the next day, dude got stabbed and died Damn. in front of the bar over an altercation over a Shorty. Like, That's it's not crazy. that serious. Like, it's like, bro, that's your life. And it's like, bro, your chapter is closed, your book is closed. You only get one, one chance Early. on this side. Like, and whatever you believe in, like, is it worth it? Like, is it like worth it? Was it really worth it for that? Like your pride, your like, no, yeah, because no that pride, like, it. yeah, you you stood ten toes. You was like tough, and then for what? Like, what you get for it? What you got to show for it? Like, I right, niggas ain't wrong with their lives, especially over a shorty, because it's like I right, now she just <laughs> finding someone else. It's like niggas not. It's life, bro. Facts. That crash out. Don't crash out. Don't crash out, bro. You know what I mean, like. <laughs> should have a fundraiser like I was trying to think of a slogan for like something no crash out cash out on crash out or something <laughs> cash out on crash out or something crazy but yeah cash bro cash out don't crash out that's what you're cash saying. out yeah cash out play the Powerball bro that's yeah. not a million dollars bro <laughs> do them parlays instead bro I did play it yesterday oh yes. for real yeah I think the drawing is uh, I don't know when the next drawing wasn't yesterday or was that today like the the million thing something was like a million it was like a billion Oh, that's what it was, a, b- a billion, I think. Yeah, that Mega Million was a billion. Man, that's crazy, though, like. That's a crazy If one. I won that, that bro. That shit look good. Yeah, I'm about to get me, uh, I don't know what I'm going to get. This is right next they to you, They got right? wings? Or something. They got to. Damn, I think it's like one. That's Maybe crazy. Maybe it's off uh, air or something. So the next one is tonight. Today's Wednesday, right? Yeah, nine. Wednesday, yeah. Let's see if I win tomorrow morning. How much Wish is this? Like a love. dollar? Five or something? For what? To two. buy one? It's yeah. two dollars. Oh, that's gone. I ain't never played one. Yo, I, I, I played only two in my life. Yeah. This one and like one last year. I don't I guess it, it don't hurt. I used to like, I don't like the picture of like the niggas that just be there every day. Just like, they just holding up the line uh, type shit. It's like, yo. You were drunk, you nigga, like, get out of my way, bro. No, I'm playing. You know, it's like the nigga that just be there. It's like, bro, like. Shit. Think about it, though, with a billion dollars. It's crazy. I guess that, I mean, even if you spend, like, a thousand, a billion is crazy. Like, that thousand ain't nothing to that you. Ain't, that's that a, ain't nothing that's to a you. Cent. Yeah, like, that ain't nothing to that's you. That's one cent, bro. Like, at the, yeah. At the end of the day, bro. Spend a hundred a month and two hundred a month at the A, bro. If you do get a billion. No, you could do whatever you want, bro. You live in lavish, you. bro. For a couple First thing years. I'm doing. Is, I'm not going to tell nobody. I'm going to tell my fam. Yeah. Right? Once I get my money, I'm going to tell my fam. Then I'm going to quit my job. I'm going to quit it but, day No, okay, yeah, with a billy, yeah. With a billy, Hell yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. Billy, yeah. Then I'm going to go, probably go to Spain first. Then I just go random ass, yeah. Random places. Just, all right. I'll probably, I don't know. I'll probably just, I'll pay off all the debt and then like yeah, yeah, put of some course. shit in. Like, but that, that, think about it though. Then that, not, that, that, ain't that, shit, that shit bro. ain't nothing to it, yeah. That ain't that shit, shit ain't bro. nothing to it, yeah. I'm gonna throw some shit into like the the S and P thing, so I can make a salary off it bro, every a year, mil, bro. And it's like I'm chilling. Fuck it, I throw two mil in there. <laughs> bro, yeah. A mil, two mil. Like, throw a mil in Tesla. I own half of it now. I'll throw, yo. I'll that's. I'll be the stock even, market, nigga. Even, I'm the stock market. You are this, like a billy. You could change the whole market, but like that's not that's hard because even a milli is nothing to like a billy though. That's a like, like you what you even that's so hard to think about. I'm like, saying what you need to bro. I Buy all the cribs bro. on the 
<laughs> north, <laughs> like, east side, east, I can't even east of the USA, bro. It's crazy. You could cop everything if you want investments, bro. So a milli, no, a billion is a hundred, no. Uh, a milli, a, a, a million, million, billion, a million, a million. Yes. Right? That's a like, million, million, that's, bro. I don't even, like, that's, I can't even that's fathom that. Like, you insanity, can't even, bro. Like, I would do everything and still have 900 million and 999 or whatever the number is like i can't imagine spending more than two million bro really no even a million bro because like damn a sports car like a hundred one billion seconds is eleven thousand five hundred and seventy four days that's crazy seconds that's one crazy. billion seconds is eleven thousand five hundred seventy four days that's wild that is how many years? A week, month, calendar year. That is yeah, 31 bro. years, bro. That's crazy. Now think about that in bread. It's crazy. I don't even know what, like, what. I can't even think of stuff like that because I'm like, nah, I got to work and, and, and <laughs> make like 0.007% of that. I don't even know. I don't even know how, like, you. That's. Yeah, that. I feel like, bro, that's why, like, 90% of niggas just crash out because, like, you can't even fathom. You're just buying shit and just, yeah. It's crazy, It's a lot. It's, like, that's not even life-changing. That's, like... That's generational that's, wealth. That's more than even... That's, like, generation on generation on generation, like, if you smart type. Bro. But I don't see how you could blow through a billion. You can't... You definitely you can, can't, though. You can't... Bro, definitely. listen, listen, bro. If you want investments, first thing you do, you know what I'm saying? I'm first going on vacation, but... I wouldn't even waste that much bread though, because it's just not you that can't, much. Yeah, you like can't. you can't even. Like, but look, look, you cop you a bunch of h- cribs. You can buy, yeah, they can just buy a cribs. bunch of cribs or a bunch of like apartments. Yeah. In like that Miami, Texas, Cali, Jersey, just spend like let's just spend like fifty mil. Yeah. Just fifty mil, on all that stuff, and you already. And you, you set. set. You set. It's crazy. You set for life. I don't know, man. I feel like, yeah. Then you can, and then you, you know what? And you you have say, mad... not even the USA. Fuck it, I'm gonna put some over there in Europe, bro. Yeah. Italy. I'm gonna have some in Italy. I'm gonna have some in Colombia. I'm gonna have bro, some, bro. bro. I'm gonna have in our anti art Antarctica if I wanted to, bro. Yeah. It don't matter. You gonna be up in Rome, just living it up, bro. Yeah, you could you could go to the space. Yeah. You could probably go to space. Jeff Bezos money, That's bro. Shit. It's crazy. Jeff Bezos is a billionaire. I'll be a super. I don't even know. With one do. ticket, you become a billionaire, bro. Yeah. I wish. Billy, Billy. I'm gonna still not play it, but nah. <laughs> that's shit crazy though. That's you, crazy. Yeah. For that person that wins, I just hope somebody that wins is not like a somebody's already like old and rich. That's what you're saying. Yeah, like someone that's young. The one that won the Mega Million was here in Jersey from Bayonne, supposedly. Oh damn. And then you could. Yeah, that's that's like so much money, bro. Like, all your problems is just like, God. yo, because your whole life would change. Like, just mentality, just everything. Because then now it's like, be like GTA when you get the, the money cheese. Nice. It's like, you can't even spend it all. Like, you're just like, nice. niggas just be bored. <laughs> like, you really nice. just don't want to have, like, different cars. Nothing to live for type and shit. That, and then that's when you. The man who has everything. Yeah, and then you just like, all right, now you're just living. Yeah. Just living. We could definitely talk about that. Because, like, the man who has everything really has nothing, though. Like, in a sense where it's like, yo, if you have everything, like, Will truly. Smith just said that. Yeah, like, you have nothing, essentially. And you'd be more depressed, like, more inclined to commit suicide or something like that. Where, a lot of rich people do be inclined yeah, to Yeah, because. Because they kept, you know what I'm saying? They kept striving it. for more and more and more and more. And so when they got to that spot, they were like, damn, like, what is there left to do? Yeah, nothing, yeah. But it's like, it's like, it's like that analogy where it's like, you know, as the stars start constellating the universe and the sun is turning on, like, more suns are coming out. Like the universe is expanding, like yourself, right? Like yeah. as you're you're growing, like you're every single day you're growing. Yeah. Like no matter while you're thinking about your future, you're growing. You're becoming somebody different. Yeah. So it's like you gotta like kind of just enjoy the now. It's, yeah. it's going back to that, right? Like, but it's just like still a billion dollars anything. would be great, bro. I'll take uh, other songs like I'll take anything by everything. That's pretty mean? cool. Like, it's a song about the man who has everything. It's like, I'll take anything, but not everything. Mm. If that makes sense. Which is, yeah, same concept. Anything is like, anything would be the life right now. Exactly. That you're doing right now. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck it. It is what it is. If I could, bro. Do, yeah, if exactly. I could not work. If I could not work, bro. Listen, like, it, I just don't want to work. 
That's yeah, that's really all it is. Yeah. yeah, I just don't want to work. All right. That's crazy, man. But yo, I ain't got no dimes. I don't think. Uh, he was diming the whole podcast, so the yeah, whole yeah. the whole podcast is a dime. Know what yeah. I mean? Shout out everybody that make life uh fun. Yes, sir. That makes life worth living, bro. For real. Yes, sir. Shout out yourselves too. Shout out me, nigga. Shout out nah, Word, it's shout big out, me. Shout out, yeah. Fucking nah, big three, three, yeah. Big me. Nah, for real. But yo, all love. Embrace your podcast. Bow. Yes, sir.